Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dilai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we will learn how we can split the screen into two uh, equal parts in Xamarin Forms so that the result should look like this one. So on each platform, I have the screen uh, split into two equal uh, parts. So how can we achieve this result? So one solution you, you might think of is to define two grids and say that the width of each grid will be 150. The first grid will be on the left and the second one will be on the right. But this solution, if we see it in action by controlling control F5, so you see here that both two grids are uh, equal, but they don't take exactly half of the screen. So you see here this little gap between Windows Phone, Android and uh, Windows Store. But why, why is that happening? That's because here we fixed it um, with request, which is 150. But we should know that for, um, for Windows Phone, for example, the width of the screen is 320. And for Android, it is 360. And for Windows, it is changing. Because here I can change the width, I can change uh, the width of the screen. So here, it is not a good idea to say that I'm going to build on top of a fixed size, which is 150. Instead, you might say, um, well, for because for Windows, it's uh, the width of the screen is 320. I'm going to say, um, give it 160 for Windows and um, 100 and 18 for uh, Android because the width is uh, 360 so I take the half of that number but for Windows you can't say that because as we saw I can change uh, the width of uh, the screen and Windows so is there a better solution actually there is the solution consists of using the column dot grid as you saw here in the title of this um, of this demo so how can you use the grid column so here inside this grid I'll go and define some columns so that this uh, grid which is um, all this space containing the two grids and the space here I'll go and split it into two equal uh, parts, two equal columns. So how can I define these columns? So here in this, uh, inside this screen, I'll go and say, I'm gonna use column definitions. So now I go and define the columns. So the first column, I'll give it a width of I can say 150 but again this is a fixed width we want to give it a width which should be half width of the screen for that I go and say one star we'll come back later to uh, what this means the same for the second column I go and say it's one star so now it's splitting this uh, column into two uh, columns which are equal why they are equal because here I define it the same number which is the weight of this uh, width and with that here I have the two grids I should say which grid should be at the first column and which one should be at the second column for I can do that here instead inside this grid I go and type grid dot column and here I can specify that the column equal zero so that this grid will fit inside the first column which have the index zero and the second grid will fit inside 
the column number uh, one. That means the second uh, column. So let's see this in action now. Unfortunately here the grid doesn't take half the screen. Why? That's because as you might notice it here, I, I don't need again to uh, give a fixed uh, grid for each, a fixed width for each uh, of my grids. So let's see it again here. Let's press start. Hey, now here it is. It's every, each one of the two grids takes half of the screen and for Windows it's exactly the half for Android and also for Windows and additionally for Windows when I go and resize the screen it's changing dynamically when, whenever I change the width of my screen so that this way you can um, split your screen to two equal uh, parts um, no matter w uh, w with, um, how much um, the width of the screen of your platform you are developing on. So I want to add something here that uh, about the way, the weight of the column, the indices here, which is one and one. So here, if I go and say that the first column will take one and the second one will be three, for example, then this means that, for example, uh, the first column will be like if it is 10, then the second one will be 30. That's uh, what it means to define the width equal uh, 3 star. So let's see it in action now. So you see now that the second grid, the green one, is three times bigger than the first one because here we said that the second one have three stars but the first one have one star and for Windows it's of course changing dynamically for that um, for those uh, percentages so thank you